Oh, I just had a fantastic stretch after my workout in my room because I'm traveling at the moment. And that's the topic of the day, stretching. A lot of people say we need to stretch the muscles and you're exactly correct, you do stretch the muscles. However, if I put my foot up like this and I bend my toes back and I go forward, I tend to feel more of the stretch behind the knee. Now that's not muscle behind there, that's nerves. That's that's so the or the nerves under behind the popliteal fossa. Because in this position, when I bend my toes back, keep my legs straight and I roll forward, I'm stretching the nervous system, which is the brain, the spinal cord, the sonic nerve, and all the nerves that go down to my toes. So I'm actually bending them into a stretch. So that's why I feel it right behind the knee. If I want to take the stretch off the nervous system, that's easy. Point the foot, point the toe, bend the knee, stay more upright and lean forward and I feel a bit more into the muscle belly. So yes, you need to stretch the nervous system and you also need to stretch the, the muscle. So do a combination of those two stretches. The other component that a lot of people who don't realise is a part of flexibility isn't just muscle length because when someone's under surgery, they can actually move the body and the legs around quite freely because the body is, you know, we're asleep out on anaesthetic. So the other component that stops the muscles from overstretching are your sensory organs. In this case, particularly the muscle spindle. So as you already know, the muscle spindle, its role is to, uh, how can I say, it monitors the rate of lengthening of muscle. So if a muscle lengthens too quickly, too, too much, it will counter contract the muscle. Tell the muscle to counter track so you don't tear it. So when you're doing stretching, you're not just conditioning or the muscle to increase its length or the nervous system, but you're also conditioning the sensory organs such as the muscle spindle. So you're actually decreasing its sensitivity so it doesn't counteract or react to that lengthening phase. And that over time will desensitize the muscle spindle, therefore you can take the muscle to a greater length without activating that little fuse, like in the fuse in a fuse box, which says, okay, shut it down, this can be dangerous. So what you're doing is you're increasing the length of the muscle before it actually activates the muscle spindle to tell the muscle to counter contract to protect it from over stretching and tearing and injury. So which allows the body to go even further into its range of motion.